Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 5.5, Problem 7. This is Section 5.5, Problem Number 7. It asks us to compute 10 permutation 6 and 10 combination 6. So for the permutation, remember your permutation formula, n permutation r equals n factorial over n minus r in parentheses factorial. Now the larger number is the n, so for this problem that would be 10. The smaller number is the r, so again for this problem that would be 6. So start putting it into your formula. So on top, n factorial will be 10 factorial. And underneath in the parentheses, n minus r will be 10 for the n minus 6 for the r in parentheses factorial. Anytime you have parentheses, do you work in parentheses first? So you will have 10 factorial over 10 minus 6 is 4 factorial. So now you can do out the factorials. 10 factorial will be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can multiply it all out and reduce it, or you can cancel what you can cancel first. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 shows up in both the numerator and the denominator, so let's just cancel it. So now what you have to do is multiply 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and that's the answer. It's a pretty big answer. If you multiply that out, it comes out to 151,200. It's a surprisingly large answer when you consider what it means. So if you have 10 items to choose from, there's 151,200 different ways you can pick 6 of them. You wouldn't guess it'd be that high. Again, if there are no repeats allowed in the different orders count as different answers, the order matters. Watch how much smaller it's going to be if we do it as a combination. What's 10 combination 6? So again, let's start with what our combination formula is. n combination r is n factorial in the numerator. In the denominator, you'll have n minus r factorial in parentheses. And in front of the parentheses, you have times r factorial. The larger number is the n, so for this problem that would be 10. The smaller number is the r, again for this problem that would be 6. Fill it in. Numerator, 10 factorial. Denominator, r factorial in front of the parentheses, so 6 factorial. In parentheses, n minus r, so 10 for the n minus 6 for the r, close the parentheses, factorial. Now, simplify your parentheses before you go any further. So the top will still have a 10 factorial in it. You'll have a 6 factorial in the denominator, and that will be times 10 minus 6 will give me a 4 factorial. Now you can do out the factorials. Numerator 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then in the denominator, 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then times 4 factorial, which is times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, you can multiply all of that out and reduce it, and it will give you the right answer, but you're making yourself do a lot of extra work if you do that. Let's at least do 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the top, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the bottom. Cancel those. Now you can multiply what's left and reduce it. Or you can still cancel things. Let's do 4. 4 goes into 8 twice. So 4 goes into 4 once, goes into 8 twice. 3 goes into 9. 3 goes into 3 once, it goes into 9 three times. 2, well, 2 on the top, 2 on the bottom. Let's just cancel those. So now everything on the bottom is canceled. You're left with 1. On top, you're multiplying 10 times 3 times 7. So 3 times 7 is 21 times 10 is a 21 with a 0 on the end, or 210. So for combinations, it's a lot smaller. If you have 10 items to choose from, there are 210 different ways you can choose six of them if there are no repeats allowed, and the order doesn't matter. The same items in a different order count is the same answer.